Italy is embarking on one of the most ambitious defense projects in its modern history, staking its claim in the development of sixth-generation fighter aircraft through the Global Combat Air Program, or GCAP. This multinational initiative, involving collaboration with the United Kingdom and Japan, represents a convergence of technological ambition, industrial strategy, and geopolitical positioning. For Italy, GCAP is far more than a military procurement program, it is a declaration of intent to assert influence within Europe, NATO, and the broader global defense sector. The stakes are exceptionally high, both politically and economically, as the program seeks to deliver operational capabilities by the mid-2030s. Participation in GCAP offers Italy a chance to redefine its role in aerospace innovation, avoid the industrial limitations experienced in previous programs such as the Eurofighter Typhoon, and secure leadership in key technological areas that will determine the future of aerial warfare. Historically, Italy's involvement in multinational fighter projects has been complicated by the dynamics of industrial contribution and political influence. In the Eurofighter Typhoon program, while Italian firms achieved technological milestones, much of the industrial benefit and decision-making was dominated by Germany and the United Kingdom, leaving Italy with a more limited strategic and economic return. GCAP, by contrast, offers the opportunity to break free from this pattern and position the country as a critical player in shaping the future of combat aviation. The program's vision extends beyond a single aircraft to an entire ecosystem of unmanned systems, sensors, advanced weapons, and artificial intelligence, effectively redefining the air domain for decades to come. The ambitious timeline targets operational deployment of the first squadrons by 2035, yet the challenges posed by technological complexity, budgetary constraints, and industrial coordination are immense. Italy's industrial contribution to GCAP is both broad and deep, reflecting the country's commitment to maintaining a robust aerospace and defense sector. Leonardo, Italy's flagship aerospace and defense company, leads in the development of advanced sensors, electronic warfare suites, and mission systems, all of which are critical to the survivability and lethality of a sixth-generation fighter. These capabilities are not merely incremental improvements, they are transformative, enabling real-time data fusion, advanced situational awareness, and networked operations that integrate both manned and unmanned assets. AVIO contributes research on adaptive cycle engines, which promise to deliver higher efficiency and greater performance across varied flight regimes. MBDA Italia is developing the next generation of integrated missiles, ensuring that weapon systems will be seamlessly compatible with the platform's advanced sensors and command systems. Beyond these principal players, hundreds of small and medium-sized enterprises across Italy stand to benefit from integration into global supply chains, reinforcing the program's long-term impact on the national industrial base and cementing Italy's role in a global technological network. The GCAP fighter itself represents a radical leap forward in design and capability. Conceived to surpass the capabilities of fifth-generation aircraft, it will combine stealth, supermaneuverability, and advanced networked warfare capabilities. Central to the aircraft's operational concept are loyal wingmen, drones, unmanned systems controlled by the main fighter to extend its sensor footprint, deliver precision strikes, or act as decoys. This integration of manned and unmanned assets epitomizes the shift toward distributed, networked combat in highly contested environments. Italy's role in developing command and control technologies ensures that its aerospace industry remains central to the platform's operational effectiveness. Advanced sensor fusion, combining radar, infrared, and electronic surveillance data in real-time and sharing it across allied platforms, exemplifies the technological edge that Italy is aiming to achieve. Leonardo's research in directed energy weapons and electromagnetic pulse systems further underscores Italy's strategic contributions, even if such systems may not be operational by the program's initial deployment. The inclusion of these emerging technologies ensures that the platform will remain relevant and adaptable in an increasingly complex aerial combat landscape. Politically, Italy's involvement in GCAP carries multiple dimensions of strategic significance. 
By joining forces with the United Kingdom and Japan, Italy signals its intent to maintain influence within NATO and assert relevance in both the Atlantic and Indo-Pacific theaters. At the same time, GCAP acts as a counterweight to competing European programs such as France and Germany's future combat air system, FCAS, demonstrating that Italy will not allow other continental powers to monopolize leadership in future European fighter development. Economically, the program sustains tens of thousands of high-tech jobs across the country and generates innovations that extend beyond military applications. Artificial intelligence systems, advanced materials, and networked electronics developed for GCAP have the potential to transition into civilian aerospace, communication, and energy sectors, creating a broad multiplier effect that strengthens Italy's industrial competitiveness. Despite its promise, GCAP entails substantial risks. Financially, the program is expected to cost hundreds of billions of euros over its lifetime, a significant burden given Italy's chronic fiscal constraints, high public debt, and competing social obligations. Maintaining consistent funding over two decades of development and deployment is likely to be politically contentious, as resources must be balanced against social spending and economic priorities. Industrially, there is a real risk of imbalance within the consortium. The United Kingdom, led by BAE Systems, brings extensive experience in systems integration and program management, while Japan contributes significant research funding and a strong technological base. Italy must carefully navigate these dynamics to avoid relegation to a niche supplier of specific components rather than a leading integrator of the entire platform. Technical risks are equally formidable. Developing a sixth-generation fighter capable of operational deployment by 2035 requires the successful maturation of multiple breakthrough technologies, including adaptive engines, advanced sensor networks, unmanned integration, and survivable electronic warfare systems. Delays are likely, and any slippage in schedules could push initial deployment into the 2040s, prolonging reliance on upgraded Eurofighter Typhoons and F-35s. Several scenarios illustrate the potential outcomes of Italy's engagement in GCAP. In the most optimistic case, Italy emerges as a leader in sensor technologies and electronic warfare, delivering an operational sixth-generation fighter on schedule to the Italian Air Force and securing a central role within the program. In a less favorable scenario, financial pressures or technical delays postpone delivery, limiting Italy's immediate operational gains and constraining its industrial influence. The most dramatic scenario involves a forced merger with the FCAS program, which could either enhance Italy's influence by positioning it as a bridge between programs or marginalize the country if larger partners dominate integration and strategic decision-making. Each outcome has profound implications for Italy's aerospace industry, its role within Europe, and its position within NATO's defense framework. Strategically, Italy's GCAP participation addresses several key imperatives. It ensures that the country retains sovereign capabilities in critical defense technologies at a time when autonomy in defense systems is increasingly valued. The program strengthens Italy's hand in shaping NATO-compatible capabilities, allowing the nation to contribute meaningfully to alliance interoperability while preserving the flexibility to pursue independent innovation. Operationally, GCAP promises to equip the Italian Air Force with capabilities that will be critical in a range of theaters, from Eastern Europe to the Mediterranean, in an era of heightened geopolitical uncertainty. Industrially, the program secures a pipeline of high-tech employment and research, sustaining national expertise in aerospace, electronics, and defense manufacturing for decades. Politically, it signals Italy's determination to remain relevant on the global stage, projecting an image of technological competence, strategic foresight, and industrial resilience. The GCAP program also reflects broader trends in global military aviation. As the United States accelerates its next-generation air dominance programs, European nations face the challenge of maintaining competitive capabilities while navigating budgetary and political constraints. 
GCAP is positioned not to match U.S. investment levels but to focus on interoperability within NATO, ensuring that European forces remain compatible and capable within alliance frameworks. This dual focus on autonomy and integration illustrates the balancing act Italy must perform, pursuing leadership and technological innovation while remaining a cooperative and reliable partner in multinational defense initiatives. The program's success or failure will not only shape Italy's defense posture but also influence broader European defense dynamics, including competition, collaboration, and innovation trajectories across the continent. Technological innovation lies at the heart of CAP's ambition. The aircraft's sixth-generation designation implies a host of capabilities that go beyond incremental improvements. Enhanced stealth, supermaneuverability, advanced sensor fusion, and networked operations are complemented by the integration of loyal wingman drones capable of autonomous or semi-autonomous operations. These unmanned assets extend the combat range, multiply firepower, and increase survivability, reshaping the tactical and operational calculus of air combat. Italy's role in developing these systems ensures that it has influence over some of the most critical elements of the aircraft, particularly in sensor fusion, electronic warfare, and command and control architectures. Such capabilities are increasingly decisive in modern conflicts, where information dominance and network lethality can determine operational outcomes. Italy's GCAP involvement is also notable for its industrial ripple effects. Hundreds of SMEs across the country are integrating into the program, embedding advanced capabilities and processes that will have long-term benefits for national industry. This integration strengthens Italy's position in global aerospace supply chains, enhances technological know-how, and fosters innovation across multiple sectors. The program's dual-use technologies, ranging from AI systems and advanced materials to networked electronics, have significant civilian applications, amplifying the economic and strategic value of Italy's contribution. Maintaining this industrial ecosystem is crucial not only for the success of GCAP but also for sustaining Italy's broader technological and economic competitiveness in the coming decades. The program's timeline is ambitious, with initial operational deployment projected for 2035. Achieving this goal requires careful management of technical development, industrial coordination, and financial planning. Each of these elements presents challenges, technical risks associated with adaptive engines, stealth integration, sensor fusion, and unmanned systems are significant, industrial risks include ensuring Italy's companies play leading roles rather than peripheral ones, and financial risks involve sustaining investment in the face of competing social and economic priorities. Managing these factors effectively will determine whether Italy can secure leadership within GCAP or risk diminished influence relative to its partners. In conclusion, Italy's participation in GCAP represents a high-stakes investment in the nation's technological, industrial, and strategic future. The program is not merely about acquiring a new fighter aircraft, it is about asserting Italy's relevance in a rapidly evolving global defense landscape, safeguarding the aerospace sector, and ensuring the country's ability to contribute meaningfully to NATO and allied operations. Success would position Italy as a central actor in next-generation air combat, with advanced capabilities, a thriving industrial base, and strategic influence over multinational projects. Conversely, delays, budgetary pressures, or marginalization could relegate Italy to a subordinate role, limiting its influence and industrial gains. As such, GCAP embodies the intersection of ambition, risk, and opportunity, reflecting Italy's determination to remain a technologically sophisticated and strategically relevant nation in the 21st century. The choices made today will shape not only Italy's defense posture but also its industrial and geopolitical standing for decades to come, underscoring the program's significance far beyond the confines of military aviation. Ultimately, GCAP is a symbol of Italy's resolve to lead rather than follow, to innovate rather than imitate, and to secure a position in the future of aerial warfare that aligns with its broader national ambitions. The program encapsulates the country's drive for technological excellence, operational capability, and strategic autonomy.
Its success promises to reinforce Italy's aerospace industry, create high-value employment, and establish a foundation for sustained leadership in European and global defense initiatives. Its failure, however, could limit Italy's influence, constrain industrial growth, and force continued reliance on foreign systems. In a world where technological superiority and strategic foresight increasingly define national power, GCAP is both Italy's gamble and its opportunity to define the next chapter of its defense and industrial history.